Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, on this channel, we are mainly analyzing politics. But when matters of public concern comes in, of course we will talk about it. And today, there is public concern about a video doing online, uh, in fact in a church, and this is Pastor, this is a... Uh, Nanga, Pastor Nanga, who seemingly is like he was praying for some people in the church, but the video is trending on social media. There's a reason why this video is trending. It's like he's trying to cast demons <laughs> from the congregants. But if you look on that video, it's like you are watching a movie. It's like a Hollywood movie you are watching. It's like a comedy. You see a comedy. People playing comedy. It's like it was stage managed. So this is something looking like people were somewhere in office or uh, locked somewhere in a room and then they were trained on how to act during a prayer <coughs> session. So that is, a, you can see interest in what is happening. And the Kenyans are reading too much on this issue. It's like someone is in business and he is trying to market his business. So. It is upon the customer to understand the language of communication or language of business, as simple as that. And actually, I'm saying this when I'm well aware that uh, in Kenya we have Bill of Rights. And under Bill of Rights, we have freedom for worship. So every Kenyan has a freedom of worship, to worship in a style that he feels that it is better for him. I'm well, well aware about that. But having such kind of social care then begs a question. Should we encourage the government to regulate our churches? Is there a need to regulate churches? That is the question I'm asking today. And by the way, we are continuing with the final discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you haven't subscribed it, so my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who don't comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give a video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, if Nanga was operating in Rwanda, I'm certain that as we are speaking now, this Neno Evangelism Church will have been closed as we are speaking now. Kagame will give an order with the immediate effect to close that church. So in Rwanda, you need to get a degree for you to become a, a preacher. You need to be well schooled about religion before you come on altar to preach to the people. And they watch on you if you are misleading the congregants. That's what's happening in Rwanda. And that alone has helped to clean the environment of the church. So the issue of quack preachers and all those things is not happening. I'm talking as a Christian. <laughs> and uh, sometimes our Muslim brothers do laugh at us when they see this kind of movie happening in the church. They laugh at us because they wonder. <laughs> Raila was condemned too much by the current regime 
that he had a plan to close church, but the issue was not to close the church. It was to just regulate our church so that the poor of the poorest will not be swindled. They will not be misled. They will not be misused. They will not be abused in the name of Jesus or in the name of preaching the gospel. Even Mama Ida Odinga was condemned at one point by the current deputy president Gaza Gachagwa. But if you look on this situation, it tells you there is a reason why the late president Kibaki regulated the church. To some extent, they, in fact, uh, they stopped uh, the, the registration of new churches. Is it, um, Ministries or what, something like that. At one point they had stopped. But Sasa Uhuru and Fika Mania Kuja after the year, Yoki Penge and Lekwa in a strained churches from straining preacher from registering new churches. Now I want you to listen to Nanga and his congregants shortly, and then we will continue with this conversation. Mimi <laughs> Igia kasi bana, igia kasi. Kasi. Hey! Mwingine mwingine, igia kasi hapa. Wacha story zako. Igia kasi hapa. Igia kasi. Igia ni kasi hapa. Igia kasi hapa. Igia Hey! My god. Mwingine iko hapa, igia kasi. Igia igia kasi. Soka nyuma wa igia, igia. Igia. Igia kasi, igia. Igia kasi. Igia kasi. Eh? Igia kasi. Wacha igie. Soka kwa igia kasiri hapa. Enda shini. Enda shini. Soka nyuma nyuma. Soka nyuma. Mwikile yikuwa hapa igie. Kuda igie kasi. Igia kwa shimo. Igia. Igia shimo. Igia shimo. Igia kwa shimo. Igia kwa shimo. Igia kwa shimo. Igia kwa shimo. Igia. Eh. Ah. Igia kwa. Bia uyo. Munga mutomo. Ya. Igia kwa shimo. Mwikile yikuwa hapa kuja. Kuja mwana moja. Kuja igia kwa shimo. Kuja igia kwa shimo. Ikiya kwa shimo, pigana na uyo, pigana na ehe, goja, goja tuone, goja, goja, gai, gai mwadhani, sijawala kama hii, sijawala, haya, 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 wee, 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 haya, ule kwa mwanda wao, wee, wata ule, wee, 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 one, no, two, I, three. I said, I am a Christian. Guy. And a member of Chini. Hey, hey. Of my God. Jesus! And by the way, as I said, I am a Christian and a member, a member of Maranatha Church. Of course, my bishop, right reverend, Ezekiel Advanza, is there. If you ask him about this, he will tell you this is drama. He will tell you this is a movie. I know. He don't subscribe to this. I know he cannot encourage such thing. If you find one of his pastors doing this, then I don't think if he will work with such kind of a pastor. So that's the truth. And therefore, if you follow closely on the people who are doing this act, actually, this is deceit. These people are acting deceit. There is ignorance illiteracy and poverty, when you combine together, these pastors, to some extent, they get up to abuse or use their congregants for their own selfish gain. This is what I can conclude from what I'm seeing here. I don't know how to describe it, but that is how better I can describe this. Remember, personally, I believe in miracles. There are miracles. Miracles do work. But not to this level, not to this kind of sarcasm we are being subjected to. <laughs> 
Actually, this one suggests that in Kenya we have good people who can act. Let them go into that industry. Let them join Hollywood or we make ours here locally. And we can sell it out and make money. But not use the church for such kind of act. I don't see anything serious here. For that reason, I am among Kenyans who, have been, who are persuaded to have a government that can regulate our churches. Otherwise, we will be exposing the vulnerable to such kind of pastors. And you know, most of our sisters, our mothers, you know, ladies, they are easily, the people whom you can easily convince spiritually, you know, they are the females, our ladies. These are people who believe. They are people of faith. So people will take an advantage to play with their spiritual belief. And this is exactly what I can say about this clip. Me, I don't agree with what is happening here. I believe in the Bible. I pray. I'm a Christian, but I don't subscribe to this. So those who are saying that, oh, Raila Odinga is coming to close the church, they even checked what he was talking about from regulating the church. They were warning people that he is coming to close the church. But that was not the truth. I think we just lacked a good person who, could, who was supposed to come out in the Azimio side to explain to the church, to explain to the Christian, and explain to the country what Raila could do if he became the president and what Mama Ida Odinga meant when she talked about regulating the church. There was no any individual who came out to explain this and expand it properly so that the people can understand. But they allowed the Kenya Kwanza side to run away with this issue of oh, Raila coming to close the church. And many people were buying into this issue. And they ended up making a wrong decision. So this is where we have landed. This government said that they are admiring the Kibaki regime. But Kibaki regime regulated uh, the church. They closed uh, the window for registering new churches because this is what was mushrooming. Kenyans were being subjected to such issues. That's why he, he locked that chapter. But they have come and they are opening it and they are saying they want to emulate Kibaki. How? Thank you so much. I am waiting to read your views in the comment section and see you in our next video.